What's up guys, it's your boy KVDX Tokyo back again with another episode and today we have another mail day. Now if you guys seen my last video that I posted about Metazoo, you guys would know that I said I would do a follow up video once I receive my booster boxes in the mail. And this is the mail that holds my very first ever Metazoo booster boxes. And when I first took a look inside of this, I was super surprised because it was way more than what I ordered. Now, if you guys like these types of videos, please like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that post notifications to get updates on future content. Now, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. This is supposed to be my first MetaZoo booster box package that I've ever received in my life. So inside this box, are my first ever MetaZoo booster boxes. Let's see, let's just see, let's just see. Okay. All right. All right, that's it. Let's see. Let's see. Let me make sure everything is good. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. Whoa. Whoa. He did not violate. Bro, he did not violate like this. Oh. My. God. You've got to be shitting me. I only ordered these two booster boxes. He sent me all this. For free. For free. You got to be kidding me. Do you know what this is? This is all first edition product. All of it. This is release event boxes. This is release event. Oh, my God. So what did you buy and what did he send you? I just bought these two things. He sent me all this for free. Nice. Just let me let me take a look at, at the booster boxes because I've never saw another so booster box in my life. This is going to be a crazy video. Wow. That's not crazy. Look, look, look at this. This is what I ordered right here. This is what I ordered right here. Two things. And this is all first edition. All right, so I had to turn the camera around so you guys can get a better look at everything that I received in this box. Um, but what you guys just saw was basically my natural reaction to when I first received this box in the mail. And I was so excited that I legit couldn't wait to do a video. I had to open it right then and there and I was speechless. I was speechless because I legit had no idea that the seller was going to send me all of this sealed product for free. This is basically $180 worth of sealed product that he sent to me um, out of the kindness of his heart. And um, I really, I really appreciate it. So thank you. Um, the seller's name on TCGplayer.com was Intrepid. Um, I asked the guy if he had any social medias uh, because I would be more than glad to shout him out, but he didn't have any social media outlets. But if you see this, I want to say thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I legit had no idea you were going to do this and you didn't have to, but I really appreciate it. Um, so like I said, I just ordered these two MetaZoo booster boxes 
and out of the kindness of his heart he sent me all of the sealed items for free and um i am a sealed collector if you guys don't know me my name is kbdx tokyo and i am a sealed tcg collector um if you look behind me i have a ton a ton of pokemon sealed items I have a few Yu-Gi-Oh sealed items, but some really good sealed items, if I may say. Um, and now I am stepping my feet into some MetaZoo. I don't know much about MetaZoo. I'm still learning about MetaZoo. Um, I'm a brand new collector. I'm a brand new collector, and this is my new journey starting with MetaZoo and my MetaZoo content, because now I will be doing a lot more MetaZoo content uh, for all of you guys. And I may have people who agree with my opinions and I may have people that don't agree with my opinions, but I welcome everyone. Whether you're positive, whether you're negative to my content, I welcome all of you. And maybe I could learn from some of you and maybe some of you can learn from me, but this is the start of my MetaZoo journey. And like I said, I welcome all of you. Um, these are my first ever booster boxes. And now, thanks to the seller, these are my very first event boxes, release event boxes and spell books. So right here, we have the UFO first edition spell book. And I'm just gonna take all these stuff take all this stuff out and put it to the side for now. Um, we have the release event boxes from uh, UFO. We have two of those, right? And uh, basically, I'm gonna give you the price, the retail price for all of this. Um, these MetaZoo release event boxes, they're basically like $20 a piece. So that's 40 bucks right here. Uh, the MetaZoo spell books, first edition well they're only released in first edition right now um these are going for like 50 bucks each so um this is the metazoo wilderness spell book this is another 50 dollars right here and we have two metazoo release event boxes that obviously I said they go for $20 a piece. So if you do the math, the two spell books is $100 and the four release event boxes are $20 each. So that's like 80 bucks. Um, $180 worth of free items. And it, tell me you wouldn't be amazed. Tell me you wouldn't be shocked if you ordered two booster boxes and you got $180 worth of free sealed items. Tell me you wouldn't be amazed. I was shocked, legit. I couldn't believe it. I was calling my girlfriend. I was like, babe, babe, you gotta see this. It was it was crazy. It was crazy, it was crazy. And um, so yeah, these are my first two ever booster boxes. Let me put this stuff to the side because we don't need that no more. All right, so we got these two sexy babies right here. Let me fix the camera angle. We got the camera angle right there. Nice and fixed. So yes, I'm very excited to introduce these two booster boxes into my sealed collection. Um, they're fairly cheap. I believe for these booster boxes, both of them, I paid $101 after tax. I believe it came out to like one hundred and twelve dollars. Um, that's not bad. That's not bad for two full booster boxes that um, are first edition. Now, uh, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about first edition. Um, some people, uh, I think it were like uh, two viewers uh, from my last video, uh, they were commenting saying that first edition. Um, isn't going to be valuable in the future. And uh, that that's their opinion. Honestly, that's your opinion. Um, I believe something totally different than that. I believe that first edition will end up like Pokemon, Pokemon's first edition, 
and it will be highly valuable. I believe that um, MetaZoo is fairly new. So all the sets that they're releasing right now, they're going to have a first edition to it, right? But in the future, along the line, these first edition booster boxes will become dry, as in you won't be able to find them, not even on the secondary market. Um, and when that happens, when all of this first edition product is all dried up and it's a few years from now, MetaZoo will release reprints of these cards. And the reprints will not have the first edition logo on it, which would make the first edition cards much more valuable. And it, that's the same thing Pokemon did. And history repeats itself. And that's what I believe. That's why I think that if you can find any first edition product now, and even if you're not a MetaZoo fan, you should dip your, your dip and dab your feet in some MetaZoo and collect now while it's cheap. Get it while it's cheap. It's like the stock market. You don't want to buy when the stock market when the stock market is high. You want to buy when the stock market is low and has the potential of gaining value again and so you can make your return. That's what I believe uh is going to happen to MetaZoo. Right now MetaZoo is at a low. Right? People are panicking. They're like, "Oh, oh my god, MetaZoo prices are so low. Let me get rid of all this stuff that I was trying to hoard." Just a whole bunch of hoarders of MetaZoo. Now they're trying to dump all this stuff because they feel like it's not going to be valuable. Um, yeah, Mike said that he won't print, uh, reprint second edition cards. I get it. Okay, there won't be any more second edition cards. Cool. That doesn't mean that he won't reprint the cards at all. And if he does reprint the cards, he's obviously not going to reprint them with a first edition logo, which would make first edition valuable. That's just, that's my logical way of business thinking, right? If I was Mike, I wouldn't re-release first edition cards. So I don't understand how anyone would think that first edition product and first edition cards will not become value valuable in the future. Um, I find it very hard to believe that it won't be valuable in the future because um, these cards are beautiful. And MetaZoo right now is not mainstream. MetaZoo is not mainstream. So imagine, just imagine when MetaZoo becomes mainstream, how much popularity MetaZoo would get how many people would want to get into MetaZoo and buy the cards and it, it's just going to skyrocket. It's going to skyrocket. And your best chance is to get in on it now. And that's that was my first video. My first video of MetaZoo, my last video that I did, um, that's all I was trying to explain is that I feel like MetaZoo has the potential, especially first edition, has the potential of becoming highly valuable one day um some people may agree with me some of you may not agree with me but i'm entitled to my opinion and how i think and how i believe and what i believe and that's what i believe i think that's the most logical thing that's gonna happen um i think a lot of you got your panties in a bunch um because mike said he wouldn't be uh releasing second edition and all of you probably thought that each of these sets were going to get a second a second edition um, it's not. It's not going to get a second edition. And just because it doesn't get a second edition doesn't mean it won't get reprinted. If it gets reprinted, it's going to be printed without the first edition logo, which means this box is going to be a lot. I mean, I feel like I'm, I'm being repetitive here, but I think you guys need to understand where I'm coming from because I had people in my last video just comment like I didn't know what I was talking about. And yeah, I'm new to MetaZoo. Um, I'm, I'm not new to collecting. So I feel like that's exactly what's gonna happen in the future. You know, MetaZoo is gonna become mainstream. Um, it's gonna get more and more popular. And the more and more popular it gets, 
uh, the more and more demand is going to develop. And when these booster boxes are no longer found in the secondary market, because everyone wants to either keep for their sealed collection or they opened it and um, it'll dry up. Sooner or later, this product will dry up. And when it's forced to be reprinted, that's when the value for first edition is gonna go up. And um, that's just my logical way of thinking, man. That that's I think that's the most possible and most logical way to think of it. And um, like I said, I'm a new I'm a new fan of MetaZoo, and the main reason why I got into MetaZoo um, was because of the cards and how each set has its own special, unique hollow foil to it. Like um, in, Meta in Wilderness, the hollow foil in Wilderness has like little trees and little leaves all over the hollow pattern. And in UFO, they have like uh, meteors and like little galaxy swirls in the hollow pattern. I, I just think like the, the little detail means a lot, you know? The little detail like that means a lot and it goes a long way when it when it comes to fans and collectors. And um, I just think like little details like that, is, it, it means so much because Pokemon, I've been saying this for a long time. I've been a collector for Pokemon uh, for a long time and their hollows are just so trash, man. They're so basic. They're so basic. And um, I like the, the the hollow swirls and the, the sparkles and the speckles. I, I like that type of stuff when it comes to the hollow patterns. And um, I must say, MetaZoo does it perfectly. They do it perfectly. Uh, the artists, um, I, I love the artist's artwork for these cards. Um, Poncho. Poncho is one of the most famous MetaZoo artist that I really grew a liking to. His artwork is just phenomenal. Um, and that's what drew me to MetaZoo. The, the, the love for the artwork and the love for the small detail. And I feel like that's, that's all I need to be a fan of MetaZoo. That's all I need to be a collector of MetaZoo. And that's all you need is just to give it, give it a chance. Give it a chance because honestly, I was one of MetaZoo's biggest critics. When MetaZoo first came out, I'm telling you, I did not like it for nothing. It rubbed me the wrong way. I thought it was a pump and dump scheme. I thought they were just trying to pump and dump pipe prices for certain products, which it did happen. Certain products are very pricey. Certain cards are very pricey. Um... But overall, I feel like anyone has the chance right now to get in on either some collecting or investing because MetaZoo is at its low. And if MetaZoo booster boxes retail for 140 and now you can get them for 50 bucks or less than 50 bucks, I mean, that's a steal, especially if it's first edition. And even if you don't like it, why not just grab one? just for the hell of it, throw it in a closet and sleep on it. Throw it in a closet, forget about it, sleep on it. Um, but I am excited to tell you guys that I'm going to start my MetaZoo content uh, full time. I'm gonna start making a lot of MetaZoo content um, and I want you guys to be a part of it. Well, you Whether you agree with me, whether you don't agree with me, um, I'm pretty sure I have a lot to learn and I welcome all of you to try to teach me if you know a little more than I do. Um, be more, you're more than welcome to go into my comment section and uh, let me know your opinions. Let me know how you feel. Um, but I'm happy. I'm happy to add these new booster boxes to my collection. And um, some of my favorite cards are from Nightfall. And yeah. That's going to be my next video because I did order me a Nightfall booster box and it should be here within a couple days. And that's going to be my next episode of KBDX Tokyo's MetaZoo journey. Um, I welcome all of you. 
And um, if you guys like these types of videos, please comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that post notifications to get updates on future content. And it would really mean a lot to me. So thank you guys. Once again, my name is Tokyo. This is the beginning of my MetaZoo content creation journey. And I welcome all of you guys. So thank you. Stay tuned for next episode.